Hi Felters, welcome. Today we're going to make this Valet Black Nose Sheep Head. It's a good 16 inches wide, 10 inches high. Valet Black Nose Sheep are the cutest sheep in the world. Look them up if you haven't seen them. So what we're going to do is a wire frame on the inside. It's going to go through the two horns and just down a bit for the head. It's quite a simple, basic wire frame. You don't need to do too much with it. So we're going to have horns either side. Do them longer than you think you need them. And then that middle bit is just going to be for the head and we're going to wrap the wool around it. So the wool I'm using here is just um, an old wool that I haven't used for anything else. It had a funny silvery streak in it so it was difficult to use for other things. So I decided to put it all through the base. So I just um, attached it round, needle felted it a bit and then you can just start rolling and rolling and rolling and felting it. I don't felt it loads, I don't felt it really solidly at this stage. I'm just getting the wool on. Then I'm moving on to a surface area of carded wool just because it gives it a smoother surface um, and this nose is going to be covered in black. I'm using the tri needle to sort of speed things up, it really helps. I'll put a link to the tri needle below. Um, some of my tools I put a link below because lots of people ask me about the mat and the needles. So then we're putting a black carded wool over the nose because his the valet black no, valet there you go the valet black nose sheep's nose is all black and he's going to have a bit of that sticking out so I've put quite a lot of black on and you can see the two horns sticking out either side. So now I'm just going to firm up the nose because this lower part of the nose is going to be showing. So I am going to needle felt that as smooth as I can and then I'm also going to needle felt two little nostrils and a mouth so here we go here's the two little nostrils either side and then as you go down there's a little bit going down towards the mouth so there's a straight line going down and then there's the mouth the mouth you can't really see that clearly but if you have a look at a sheep's nose you can see how it is and so the lower half on the nose is black wool for the valet, sheep, uh, valet black nose. So this is a dyed teeswater black. I haven't found any other black curls on Etsy, so this was the best I could get. And I'm doing a layer all around the lower part of the nose. So you're leaving the end of the nose sticking out. So you're just needle felting the ends on, and then any big bits that stick out, you needle felt them in a bit. So here we go. Quite simply, I've needle felted all the ends on all the way around the nose. And there's the mouth and nose, you can just see it. I think his nose was actually a little bit big, but it doesn't look too bad when he's all done. So next, we're going to move on to, I thought I'd get the horns done now before I had all the extra um, valet locks on. So the horns, I'm just using a beige um, carded, I think it's a Shetland wool. I use quite a lot of the Shetland wools and you just attach it and then start wrapping it around and you can see I've done the other horn already so you can see what I'm aiming for so you just wrap it around that's the first layer and then secure it on with a bit of felting and then it needed to be uh, thickened up so I've attached some at the base and then needle felted that on roughly and then again I think I needed to make it even thicker still because obviously once you felt it down it's going to be a lot smaller So there we go there's three lots that I've put on and then I start needle felting it down and needle felting it fairly smooth and then I put the lines or ridges in I think this is the easiest way to do them is to just take a needle drag it along and do lines about a quarter of an inch apart because the valet black nose sheep horns do have actual ridges on them and then I'll do lines all the way up as well along either edge because I think that was a feature that um, when I looked at their horns, I thought they had, this is the lines all the way along the edge. So it's worth doing and I think it makes them look a lot better. So this is the real Valet locks that I have and that was the raw wool. And then I cut off all the little locks and I sort them out. And it is really time consuming, but it's really worth it because buying locks all washed and cut and ready are quite expensive. So if you buy some raw wool, wash it yourself and then cut it. It's time consuming, but it is worth it in the end. So the next layer up that I'm doing is um, the white wool, obviously, and I've done a layer all the way around the black. Well, not quite all the way around, the next one's all the way around. 
So it's just a layer of wool all the way around. There we go, so I've done all the way around. It looks a bit silly. <laughs> so we go for the second layer and it's about half an inch to an inch further back. So just needle felt that all in. It starts to look so much better once he's got the white wool on. And I am actually felting it in quite hard, you can see there. This is the ears, so valet black nose sheep ears are quite long and thin and they point downwards. So if you take some wool and then just felt it on the mat into a rough shape and then I put things between two cards to help get the edges, hold the cards really tightly. I had to add some more on because it was a bit thin on one side. See, um, wool is so forgiving, especially carded wool, you can easily add and the join doesn't show. Um, and then start felting the edges again. There's the ear that I have done down on the table, so I'm trying to match it. And then fold them in half, and then that's how they're going to be felted on. And I think they go just under the horns and they point down a bit. So I had to attach them at this stage before I added all the extra wool on top. By the way, if you're confused about any wools, I do a whole video on walls, I do a video on needles, I do lots of other tutorials. So here we go, adding a bit more, and it's just all about adding the fluff now. So this is the sifting you have to do, you have to sort of get them all out, get them the right length, so it is a bit tricky, but it's well worth it. I also do a tutorial on a, a very small valet black nose sort of complete sheep, which is a very popular one actually, he looks lovely. Now you need to be able to hang this sheep because most people would like to hang it on the wall. So I've attached one piece of wire, wrapped it around the base of the horn and then twisted it around. You could attach a piece of string or rope. I've attached the wire because I think that would be more useful to make him stay upright and you could put some ribbon around it or cover it with something. Just bending that in, the flat nose pliers are really good for this. There he is and um, he was tipping forwards a bit so I secured the back of the wire so that it wouldn't move backwards and I just got some white carded wool and just felted it over and sort of forced it into position and it worked really well. So I'm doing all this before I attach more wool on the back or more curly fleece. So that was good, <clears throat> that made him quite firm. Any loose bits just pull off. And here we are attaching all the last bits at the back. So you still have a gap as you go towards the end and then when you get to the sort of the last piece, felt it in and then just move some of it over and felt it a little bit. I think this is the last, last piece. Nope, this is the last, last piece. Coming up. So you just felt it in, felt the ends, and then just sort of fluff it up, and it just covers it all up, so it does really well. So basically, that is him all done. So um, I've just bent the wire down a bit so I can see him on the table. He's all done, he was lovely, he wasn't too hard. You could do this with lots of other different types of sheep. Um, and I just think it was a really great thing to try. The Valet Black Nose Sheeps are really popular at the moment. So there he is. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, please do like, subscribe, comment. I've got loads of other videos coming out. There we go. So I've sort of hung him up under the shelf, bless him, with all the other animals. Um, and look forward to seeing you next time. So take care and happy felting, everybody.